So to show a spectrum, what we use is, is called a diffraction grating. This looks like a piece of clear plastic, but it's not. It is uh, actually a piece of clear plastic on which an image has been inscribed with dark line, clear line, dark line, clear line, with about 10 to 13,000 lines per inch. So it's called a grating, uh, just like a street grate, it has lines through it. And this allows you to resolve the spectrum of, um, of a source of light in the same way that a prism will resolve a spectrum. So what we're going to do is to place this uh, diffraction grating in front of a camera and show you the view of this continuous um, source with the diffraction grating in place. And what you'll see uh, in the image is, is the, uh, the image of the, of the incandescent bulb itself. And then to the right and to the left, you'll see uh, a rainbow spectrum that shows which, what wavelengths are present in this. So, so this is hydrogen. It has a, a reddish cast to it. And uh, when the diffraction grating is, is in place, you'll see three lines. Those lines are associated with transitions of the electron in the hydrogen atom from a higher state to a lower state. So this is a mercury spectrum uh, without the diffraction grating. And let me get it in focus here. It's a bluish colored uh, spectrum. There are um, mercury vapor lights that are used as um, street lights. So this may look similar to you, this bluish tint to the mercury vapor. Now let's try it with the diffraction grating in place. And what you see in this case are uh, a green line and a blue line predominantly in this mercury spectrum. So this is nitrogen spectrum. And with the diffraction grating in place, we see a number of lines present, some red, orange, yellow, green, and a, a violet uh, turquoise-ish colored line. That's nitrogen. This is neon. It has a beautiful orange look to it. And when the diffraction grating is in place, you see a large number of red and orange lines. This is exactly um, what's used for neon lights. The original neon light was made out of neon like this. There, there are other gases that are used to to, to form um, signs, but, but neon was really where it, uh, where it started off. It has a beautiful, bright, uh, reddish-orange spectrum. 